Okay, second graders, we are today going to be doing a hat for our Cat in a Hat assembly. Uh, Mrs. Hyder, the librarian, she won a contest and the Cat in a Hat is going to come to our school on Dr. Seuss's birthday, which is March 3rd, which is next Tuesday. And um, we're going to have a very short assembly, but everybody in the whole school is going to be wearing their hat that they make in art. So today we are going to be doing a hat that's themed um, for Daisy, Daisy Head Maisie. Um, and we are going, you can for your, um, for your headband, you can use any two colors that you want. Um, so I'm going to use, maybe I'll use orange. I don't think I have two. Oh, I do have two oranges, like, pre-cut for me. So, I'm going to set this stuff aside. Boop, boop. And I have these two strips. So, you're going to get two strips of the same color. You could get one strip of one color and one strip of another color. That's fine. Um, this is just for the headband part. So, you're going to line this up right here. And you are going to tape it down. Now, when, when that happens, you'll see that this little flap happens over here, and that's a little um, weird. Pe some people don't like it. So what you could do is you can take the tape, you can roll it into a really skinny piece where the sticky side is out. It's like two-sided tape. And then you're going to put it on that part that you don't want to see. You're going to press that down and then it bends very nicely, very normally. Then you have to put this around your head like this. <laughs> My hair is wet, sorry. So you gotta put this around your head and measure where you need to tape at the back. I, um, you're gonna be taping a little bit in and you're always going to put the tape, oops, I can't. You're always going to put the tape on the inside because tape is ugly. So I'm going to put the tape on the inside right here. I again have this little flap so I'm going to take another piece of tape. I am going to roll it into two-sided tape like this. And then I'm going to put it right here and press it down and then I have my headband that is just my size. Now, you're going to have a green piece of paper. Yours is not going to be ripped like this. Yours is going to be normal. And you are going to roll it up. I like to fold it at the beginning. You can see that that just ripped there. That's not going to matter at all. I'm going to go ahead and roll this. Now, the reason we're using so much paper is so that it's very strong. Daisy Head Maisie has a daisy coming right out of her head and it sticks straight up. So, now I'm going to put this on here, um, probably in the middle between the two parts that I taped. I'm gonna put it right here. This is gonna be a little tough. I think I want to tape this down a little bit because it's coming out. Because mine is ripped, yours isn't gonna be ripped. So I wanna tape this down. If you wanna use clear tape to tape this down, feel free but I don't have clear tape with me right now. So I'm gonna put it right in the middle of my two little seams over here. Maybe a little bit more over here. And then I'm going to staple it. What you wanna do is you wanna have the stapler right on your table like this. I usually like having it on the edge of the table. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my whole green stem in there. And I'm going to press with all my might. I'm going to stand up and press down on the stapler so that it goes through. It's going through a lot of papers, so that's going to be tough. If you need help, ask your substitute teacher. So my, my stem is going to be off to the side a little. I kind of dig that. So um, now, because mine is ripped, I'm also going to put a little piece of tape right here. For the next part, the next part is the flower. Oh, oh, before we do that, I want to show you that there are now staples on the inside of my headband right here. So if I put my headband on, that might hurt. So I'm going to take a piece of tape. 
I'm going to cover up those staples so that they're not right against my head. You don't ever want metal right against your head. Okay, so now I have to do the flower part. The flower part, you can use any of the colors that are in your bin. I would suggest just taking one of the colors and then for the middle part of the flower, you can use the scraps of the other people at your table. You can use any color you want because you don't need a whole lot. When you're doing your flower, you can draw first if you'd like. So I'm just going to do a regular daisy. You can do one of those flowers that um, has spikes. You can do any kind of flower that you really think of. Um, so I'm going to cut this out. Tape it on. And I should be good to go. I'm not cutting it exactly on the line. The great thing about that is that Dr. Seuss, um, he had those strong black lines in all of his illustrations, and he didn't always, he wasn't perfect with it. He was always a little scribbly with it, so it's fine. It's Dr. Seuss style. All right, so I have that. Maybe I'm going to take a scrap. This isn't really a scrap, but I'm going to take a scrap from the neighbor, and I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. I'm going to take a piece of tape, put it on here. Uh, my tape is going over a little bit. The tape is ugly, so I don't want to see it, so I'm just going to cut that part off. You could do that anytime the tape goes over a little bit. Okay, so that's my flower. I can put this aside. And now I just want to tape the flower onto the stem. I want to put the tape right here and then just make sure it's on the stem right there. So then you have Daisy Head Maisie. If you want to add more flowers over here and over here, if you want to add leaves, feel free to do that. That's awesome. So on the back, when you are done, you write your name. And I'm going to pretend I'm in 2C. So I'm going to write 2C. And um, you can, when you're leaving, you can wear this or right as soon as you're done, you can wear this. You're going to wear it outside of the classroom when your teacher picks you up. And then your teacher will figure out where she's going to keep these in the classroom for when it comes time for the assembly. Every single um, person, every single student in Jefferson School is going to wear theirs in the assembly. So second grade is all Daisy Head Maisie, and that's it. So you can wear this if you finish early, then you could do free draw, and you can wear this while you're doing free draw. It's super fun. All right. I hope you have a great time, and I hope you get time to have free draw. See you guys later.